It's your boy Uncommon Sense back at you again for another fragrance review. Today I wanted to review one that is uh, more reminiscent of spring. Um, it definitely puts me in a good mood when I wear it and smell it on myself. So let's hop right on into it. Tommy Bahama, Set Sail, St. Bart's. Say that five times fast. Here. Um, I actually got... And when uh, I was in between trains, it was going to be a while before my next train was coming. So I said, you know what? I'm going to stop in here, see what's going on, see what Ross has. Came across this one. Now, this one debuted in 2007. I don't know who the nose behind this one is. This one is a Eau de Cologne concentration. Um, so I don't have many Eau de Colognes in my collection. I more or less have Eau de Toilettes, Eau de Parfums, etc. the presentation. Song. Blue, can do no wrong. Blue and gold. Feels like, you know, royalty and whatnot. I like this rope detail around the cap. But it looks like it's it, on there pretty good. And even despite that, doesn't look like it's going to fall. Um, to my nose, it's a good, solid quality juice. And I have to be honest with you, I didn't give this much play previously because I thought Tommy Bahama was a ripoff of Tommy Hilfiger. And I love Tommy Hilfiger when I was going to high school, etc. I still wear Tommy Hilfiger. So I thought it was one of those things where, like they were biting off of Tommy Hilfiger. So I was like, I, I didn't want anything to do with that. But I gave in, gave this one a try and ended up really enjoying it. Now the category is an aromatic. In the top, we have notes of lime, tequila, C notes, and agave. In the mid, we have green notes, guava, and salt. In the base, we have musk, vanilla, and palm leaf. Let's go ahead and give this one a spray. Give it three, because it's the Eau de Cologne. It's really aromatic. Like when it hits the air, you kind of know it's, it's really fresh and clean. Now my experience with this one, what I smell is like a lime mojito kind of vacation drink, if that makes any sense. I definitely smell those green notes, those C notes and that lime, that lime kind of Bust through there and makes itself known. I get a Actually, lime, lime mojito, metallic, salty kind of vibe from it, but it smells so good and it's so fresh. It just reminds me of um, kind of like vacation. Actually, way. I am partial to more citrusy colognes, and I love like lemon, bergamot, lime, yuzu, coconut, like those types of fragrances mixed together they just smell so good to me partially because i'm a tropical man and I, my family comes from the island so again like that's one of those things where it just reminds me of home now for the first p performance i think i got about six hours out of this one the last time i wore it was maybe a couple of weeks ago and the time before that was probably back in october so this is one of those in the p the first p in performance i'm gonna rate it eight the second p projection now the projection on this one um it's i i guess if i had to categorize it, it's it's more moderate it's not necessarily in your face but it's decent so maybe within a one and a half two foot range has a good projection on it that lime i guess kind of uh tequila type of vibe is coming through it smells really fresh so um i would definitely say the projection on this one it projects nicely at about one and a half two feet so i'm gonna give it another eight as i said earlier the presentation of this one first dig the box it looks very uh maritime slash naval etc so 
Again, I like the way they put that together. And I will say, once I empty this one out, doesn't look like it's going to be anytime soon. Once I empty this one out, this one is so sturdy, I will probably use it for a paperweight. Again, it kind of has that paperweightish vibe, kind of like it sits in the office. Um, if your office is in the Bahamas or something like that with the plantation shutters and painted whiteboard. Um, yeah, it just really has that feel like one of those pick me up spritz a little bit of this on and i definitely instantly feel better it's one of the ones that has the ability to change your mood and i really dig them because it reminds me of vacation and white sand beaches and hammocks and blue water that looks like you're looking through a glass and it just really feels extremely tropical and i love that type of vibe like palm fronds and all that this this really this scent really captures that for me and i've i've heard of this one being uh, compared, compared to, to Creed's Creed's virgin island water and i haven't smelled that one yet but again at creed's prices i don't think it could beat this one it brings me to my next peak price i think i paid maybe twenty dollars for this by one Tommy Bahama. And i'm gonna rate that one a 10. i don't think you can beat this one for the price and the way it smells and the way it lasts on my skin Listen, for 20 bucks the only thing that I could probably ask for this one to do more is project a little bit more. But since I enjoy it on me, it doesn't need to do much more than it's currently doing. It's really doing its job and like sticking around and performing. Because again, I've worn it in the cooler months. It stuck around nicely. Um, I wore it me. hung around. I wore it to work. It smelled great. I kept kind of throughout the day tucking in, getting a whiff of myself. So I really, really enjoy this one. Now the next P, play. I think I got one compliment when I wore this. And again, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. I really don't wear my fragrances to garner compliments. If they do, that's great. If they don't, that's totally fine too. Because I enjoy the way they smell on me. I enjoy the way they make me feel. So I'm going to rate this one a nine in the play department. Because I really dig how I smell wearing it. It makes my spirits. And again, in my experience, this one feels like spring. It feels like vacation. It feels like a getaway. So when it's cold and gloomy or rainy and snowy in Chicago, this is one of the ones I hop to and be like, you know what? I need a little pick me up. Spritz. Cool. Enjoying it. It's a great day. And it makes me think of a getaway with plantation shutters and hammocks and canoes and uh, grass skirts and coconut bras. And it just really feels like spring break or that summer vacation that is like the best that you'll never forget is Tommy Bahama St. Bart's a cop a drop for me it's a cop especially at the $20 price tag you do you'd be doing yourself a disservice not having one like this in your arsenal if I had to sum up the reason for the season or what this fragrance reminds me of, I had to find a, my calendar that has tropical beaches on it. This right here is what this fragrance reminds me of. This what this this is what this fragrance feels like for me. So, just to recap, so for performance, we have an eight for price gave it a 10 for, for projection pro i gave it an eight for presentation i gave it a nine for play i gave it an eight so all together that gets it an 8.6 out of 10 again easily one of the freshest better smelling colognes i have in my collection um so I think I wore this one to a concert or open mic that was up north. I ended up wearing something. Uh, so for the day look, uh, I was at work, track jacket, cargoes. I transitioned to an evening look by adding a plaid shirt, kept the cargoes, added duck boots, added a cream vest. I'll show you guys that in the outfit of the day situation, how we went from day to night, still wearing this fresh cologne. I refreshed. Um, because it basically lasted me all day. I love, 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 love you guys. And I really appreciate you guys sticking in there, supporting me. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, because I got some great things coming uh, your way. Additionally, more fragrance reviews. I'm committing to uploading at least once a week. 
Again, that could be subject to change depending if, you know, you guys rocking with what I'm posting or you're not rocking with what I'm posting. I need that feedback, though, to know where I'm going. So, again, it's been your boy Uncommon Sense. Stay tuned for the outfit of the day. And remember to check out my sneaker. Also, add me on Instagram. Hit me up on here. Comment. I'm very communicative. So, if you leave me a message, guaranteed I'm going to respond. So, again, it's been your boy Uncommon Sense. I'm out. Oh,